into financial institutions, cell phone networks, and personal email accounts. In support of our military and our government. So we need successful strategies. We collectively have a long way to go. Build the intelligence capability this country needs for the decade out ahead. So we need an FTC to follow its statutory authority to protect consumers both online and off. The program uses facial recognition to constantly monitor citizens. The United States is aggressively tracking and deterring criminals and terrorists online. Stinger OS now active. Welcome, Agent. Welcome to Boot Camp, Recruit. I'm Sergeant Wheeler, and I'm here to teach you all you'll need to know to become an elite member of our Cyber Warfare Unit. Your recruitment officer told me you've got a decent head on your shoulders, and I'm here to find out whether or not that's an accurate assessment. I sure hope you don't disappoint. We only take the best at Night Team 4. NIGHT stands for Network Intrusion and Technical Evaluation. Your task is to identify, infiltrate, and gather intelligence from computer systems used by enemies of the Black Watchmen. Governments are short on time and resources, so it's up to us to take action. We address imminent global threats that can't wait for bureaucracy. Because we're a covert organization operating outside the rules of engagement that govern our allies, intelligence agencies around the world seek our help. Before we cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war, you have some training to do. Ready for the challenge? Then let's lock in. Select the Stinger OS Basic certification in the panel on your left. That will bring up an information screen on your right. Then click Access Certification to begin training. Good luck, recruit. The Stinger operating system is our own cyber warfare and network intrusion platform. It's a beautiful piece of software, built by combining the most advanced open source hacking modules from civilian and military sources. If you've experienced any penetration testing platforms like Kali or Metasploit, you'll recognize similarities. Zoning out already? Okay, I know most of you have the attention span of a goldfish when it comes to basic training, but mastering this intrusion platform is key to becoming a lethal cyber warfare agent in the field. Ready to get started? Let's familiarize ourselves with the Stinger OS menu. If this takes more than five minutes, I'll fire our user interface team. Only kidding, it'll be easier to fire you. Less paperwork. Each certification is broken up into three stages, and your objective will automatically update as we progress. Click Initiate Phase 1 on your left panel, and I'll pass you over to one of our agents to take it from here. Dylan's trained many of our recruits, so you're in good hands. Com check, 1127. Hey, this is Agent Dylan. I'll be your wingman during training. Word of advice, it's always the know-it-alls who make the biggest mistakes. We can't afford mistakes, so keep a level head. As Wheeler explained, you're starting basic and building up from there. Go to the information gathering menu on your left and launch the fingerprint module. Drag the window around a bit and uh, complete the test by typing the command help. Easy, right? Information 
Information gathering module initiated. Excellent! You can listen and follow basic orders. That's not as common as you'd imagine. The Stinger OS lets you access resources from other divisions within the Black Watchmen. Division 40 is in charge of Imens, the imagery intelligence section, and Massens, the measurement and signature intelligence. They provide you with satellite feeds and drone coverage during operations. You can access these services at the bottom of your screen. Division 40 is the fourth icon from the left. Click it and enter the following coordinates. 38 latitude, minus 77 longitude. Once you activate the satellite, click the back the globe link to end your task. Drone and imagery intelligence active. Before completing the certification, I want you to check out your agent profile. It's at the top left of your Stinger OS. Change your avatar and return here to finish this certification. impressed. Agent Dillon seems keen to train you. He must see some potential. All right, you've completed your first certification. You have another 29 left. You don't need to do it all, but if you are curious, you're welcome to dive in. Not all certifications are about command lines and typing text. Our work also involves other forms of investigation like digital forensics or signal intelligence. We'll learn them soon enough, but you have to master the command line first. It's a standard weapon and a valuable one. Some of this may already be familiar, but it never hurts to recap. Let's start with OSINT. Open source intelligence is the act of gathering intel from public data. Regardless of the nature of your target, there's a strong likelihood they've left a mark somewhere on the internet. Collecting all this public information lets you map a target's network infrastructure and identify its point of vulnerability. Your first certificate will focus on domain name reconnaissance. Domain names save us from having to memorize IP addresses. All we need to do is type in a domain name to retrieve a website or access a service. These domain names are managed by a domain name server, or DNS for short. That's great for us because we can extract data about our targets from these servers. Agent Dylan will show you how to find domain and subdomain names, even if the target didn't intend to make the information public. Man, I love this part. It's fun to see what you newbies are made of and separate the wheat from the chaff. Right, domain name reconnaissance. You'll need the DNS and vhost mapping module, which you'll find in the information gathering menu. The first command you've got to learn is the S fuzzer. S fuzzer launches a good old fashioned dictionary attack against the domain name, trying thousands of the most common subdomains used on the net. 
If you ask fuzz a domain name like 194.com, the dictionary will first try the obvious www before moving on to other soap domains like mail, ftp, or extranet.194.com. Each time a domain name answers positively to an sfuzzer request, it will show as active. Since that's all automated, you just need to decide how long to run the dictionary attack. The longer you run it, the more words it tries, and the more potential access points you gain. Remember, the attack always starts with the most common words. 10 to 20 seconds is a good enough benchmark for easy targets. Well, what are you waiting for? You're the one who needs to get certified, not me. Open that DNS and vhost module and launch a 10 second dictionary attack on the domain name 194.com. If you get stuck, follow the instructions on the terminal. Information gathering module initiated. Another way of finding domain names is through a search engine's database, like Google, Yahoo, Bing, and the likes. Ask Jeeves isn't as useful anymore. Sometimes a search engine will accidentally index a private subdomain because of an oversight, leaked reference, or careless third party. We're here to take advantage of that mistake. I want you to use the osintscan command on 194.com and specify a database to look through. To look through Google Database, you will type dash s google.com. To ask for the first 500 results in the search engine, you simply add dash d 500. So your final command will be os int scan dash s google.com dash d 500. If you get stuck, the instruction should help. gathering module initiated. Excellent work! You know what you have now? The expertise to quickly identify potential entry points in an enemy network. You have the keys to their house. Of course, once you're inside the house, you'll need a new strategy. There's one last trick to the OSN scan command. Sometimes, a server can host multiple domains. Though one domain could be protected, another could be vulnerable. IP addresses are unique numbers that identify internet servers, and if you search by IP, you'll find all domains and subdomains present on that server. This doesn't just locate entry points. It helps discover links between organizations, like a supplier or a sister company that shares the same server. Right, let's finish up. Execute an OS in scan on our IP address, 
0.93 Information gathering module initiated Look how far you've come. Glad to see your recruitment officer is right. It won't be long until we turn you into an excellent... You're almost there. Only a few more steps until we give you access to more powerful modules. We need to know you're comfortable with a sidearm before handing you a grenade launcher. So, let's finish the basics. This next certificate covers advanced OSINT tactics. Time to play around with the tools you've learned. I've set up various subdomains on 194.com and I want you to test out different SFuzzer dictionary attacks. You'll notice contrasting results between a 5 second attack and a 20 second one. Follow the objectives to complete the task. Gathering module initiated. I want you to see the difference between an S fuzzer and OS int scan attack. Run both a 15 second S fuzzer and a 500 deep OS int scan against 194.com.
plan. Time for a little test. I've hidden the subdomain forums.nightteam4.com. Use what you've learned so far to find it. It may be a long S fuzzer or a really deep OS int scan. You might also find it in another search engine's database. Despite what their marketing team says, Google isn't the only one out there. Go for it. Information gathering module initiated. Information gathering module initiated. Time to learn more about our target. Fingerprint commands are pretty straightforward. To scan the www subdomain, type fingerprint www.1914.com. 
you can enter this command in any terminal to automatically launch the fingerprint module. Also, you can launch the terminal via your information gathering menu. I've put the exact command in your certification objective, so make sure you follow the objectives. Information gathering module initiated. As you can see, we're running an Apache server on port 80 for our website. Simple stuff, and thankfully, the fingerprint module didn't identify any vulnerabilities. Can't have the public face of our organization vulnerable to attack. Anyway, a fingerprint works by testing hundreds of requests for a specific technology and recording the software version that's running, along with its known vulnerabilities. Go ahead and run another fingerprint, this time on test.19.4.com. I've set the subdomain up specifically for you. You'll now realize it's possible for a domain name to have multiple ports. In this case, none of them are vulnerable, but I'm going to give you access to a vulnerable technology. I want you to target the subdomain server.19.4.com with your fingerprint module. With information on your target's domain, subdomain, port, and software, you can now determine the best way to infiltrate their network. The fingerprint tool may flag up vulnerable technology, but you still need to know how to exploit that weakness. Your Stinger OS has a built-in database of all known exploits. Each one has a unique CVE number, short for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. The database is funded by our friends at the Department of Homeland Security, so feel free to send them a thank you card later. A CVE record from our exploit database includes everything you need to reproduce or even automate the attack process. It's like your very own version of the Anarchist Cookbook. Knock yourself out. Let's start with a normal attack vector. Pull up your DNS and vhost mapping and fingerprint modules to find a vulnerable technology on the domain freekevin.net. Information gathering module initiated. Information gathering module initiated.
let's see what we can learn about the vulnerabilities. Open your exploit database module in the information gathering menu, then type the command searchsploit sharepoint-2007 to bring up the CVE vulnerability record. Information gathering module initiated. Let's go for one more exploit with the command searchploit CRM 4.0. Then we can launch into the juicy stuff. Network intrusion. Information gathering module initiated. Well, well, Recruit, looks like you're about to complete basic terminal operations. What better way to end than a chance to play with the infamous Fox Acid server? Developed by the NSA for their Tailored Access Operations Unit, Fox Acid orchestrates automated exploits with multiple applications. The original version was mostly used for inbound queries, a visitor had to call the Fox Acid server to get infected, our upgrade comes with thousands of outbound automated exploit scripts, so we can now actively attack a target instead of waiting for them to come to us. Civilian tools like Armitage are also useful, but our version is a lot more powerful. For now, we'll give you access to basic scripts and exploits. Your task is to infect the cyberdynegroup.net and install the After Midnight Rootkit. This is a small footprint, kernel space, persistent rootkit that will provide backdoor access to their network. After this task, you will complete basic terminal operations. Then, you can move into advanced training or take on your first official mission. Good luck! You're almost done! You know the drill. Find a vulnerable entry point for the domain cyberdyinggroup.net. Follow the instructions in your objective. gathering module initiated information gathering module initiated
search the exploit database and find the CVE record for the vulnerable technology. Information gathering module initiated. Final stage of your basic training. Open your Fox Acid server and enter all the attack parameters you saw in the CVE records. Take your time and make sure you've got the attack parameters on the left and the target parameters on the right. When you're ready, click in the center to launch the attack. This will deploy your after midnight rootkit and install a Turbine C2 card, giving you full backdoor access to their network. Ready? Next time I speak to you, you'll be geared up for the big guns. Damn, I feel proud. I can't wait to hear a wheeler certify you. Now go ahead and finish what you started. Server connection initiated. Fox Acid Attack launched. Fox Acid Attack successful. To whom it may concern, it is with great pleasure that I, Sergeant Catherine Wheeler, recommend Agent 7491 for the rank of Security Analyst Level 1. After successfully completing the basic terminal operations training with speed and finesse, this agent is now ready for active duty. I hereby request that we grant access to our Advanced Training Certification and Mission Center. I stand in strong belief that Agent 7491 will be a reliable addition to our organization and wish them a long and successful career in the agency. Respectfully, Sergeant Catherine Wheeler.
Fox acid attack launched. Fox acid attack successful. Mind Network Online, Channel 0093, Secure Uplink Initiated, Stinger OS now active. 